All right, this is my 1986 Vanagon Doka Synchro, and I've put a Tesla motor in it. Come check it out. So, it's actually on right now. You can't hear it because it's electric. But if you look in here, you can see we have an entire Tesla Model 3 battery pack. And if you come back here, in the engine bay, there used to be a 2.1 liter gas powered water boxer engine made by Volkswagen. We have a Model 3 Tesla motor. So it's, it's on. So let's drive it away, shall we? This is a Tesla Model 3 motor. In the last video, we talked about the three mounting points that need to be used in order to get this motor into my truck. So here we are underneath the Tesla motor. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. It's pretty cool. We walked through the steps on how we put this in here. Although it seems pretty difficult, installing the motor is actually the easy part of this project. The next part of this project is getting the power from the motor to the wheels. In pretty much every car on the road today, the way that that power is transferred from any motor, electric or gas powered, is through CV axles. A CV axle is a little complex, so I'm just gonna simplify it by saying it's basically a stick. On one end of the stick, it's attached to the motor. As the motor turns, the stick turns. On the other end of the stick, it's attached to your wheel. Therefore, when the motor spins, the stick spins, and then your wheel spins. Pretty simple, right? Yes, if it's all coming from the same car as the manufacturer designed it to. However, in my car, since it's half Tesla and half Volkswagen, I need to find a way to adapt the two. Right here, we have half of a Tesla CV. Now, I bought these complete. They're about a hundred bucks each, which is a bummer because I was instantly cutting them in half. Guys, cutting hardened steel like on CV shafts, it's no joke. And what I'm going to do is this side is going to go into the Tesla motor and this side will go into the Volkswagen wheel. This right here is half of a Volkswagen CV. So what I will do is weld these two together and then get these sent off to have custom ones made but I'm just gonna mock this up in place and see if there's any binding. This will give me better articulation. This is newer technology. This is the little tri-bearing CV. Here's what the inside of the tri-bearing of the CV looks like on the Tesla side versus the old ball kind. So stick those two in together. Okay, here's the two axles. The shorter one is the driver's side and a longer one, passenger side. Okay, here we are under the car. You can kind of see the CV axles. They're tucked behind that motor mount right there. You can see there's some angle iron, angle iron right there too. Uh, these are just tacked together to hold into place, but it is enough to temporarily run this. You can see I have the Tesla throttle pedal down here. So I'm gonna push down and watch what happens. Okay, here we go. First time ever starting this. Well, for making the wheels turn. Pull my throttle pedal. Here goes nothing. Cool. 
So far, so good. I hear the hum or the whine of the electric motor, totally normal. Uh, it is low on oil, so when I fill that up, it will not be that loud. However, I am hearing a little bit of noise coming from the brake drum of the Volkswagen. So nothing to do with the conversion itself, just some old brakes. Definitely something I'm gonna get into. I need to put disc brakes all around on this thing because with the Tesla motor, I definitely wanna be able to stop. I'm beyond happy with this so far. I should probably be taking it easy. If you saw those welds, I just kind of tacked everything together. So I should be careful. Man, that's pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disassemble my CV axles, send them off to be made, and then I will do a test ride on this. But it's ready to go, which is frustrating. I should have planned ahead a little bit more, but oh well. Okay, here they are, ready to go be sent out to get custom made shafts. Okay, so we sent these off to go get custom made and it has returned like this. So I got two of these custom made. They have the same spline counts on each end. One end right here is for Tesla. I can put that little tripod bearing on this side slides right on. This side is the Volkswagen splines. There we go. See what I mean when literally a CV axle is a stick? It's just a tube of steel. Tesla, Volkswagen, thicker than both of the originals, heat treated. So I'm going to put the CVs on both sides, get this installed in the truck, and then we can take it for a drive. <laughs> The CV axles are all ready to go, so let's throw them into the truck. All right, here we go. Totally custom axle, pretty cool. One side we've got the Volkswagen axle. On the other side, we have the Tesla axle. That's not bad. This is the CV axle height. So I actually have this up on a transmission jack right now, obviously because when you drop wheels, suspension sags down. So I wanted to see at the actual ride height what we're gonna be looking at. Here it is. Here's our, let's see our CV axle. We're at about a 13 degree angle. That one's not horrible. This one on the left side is a shorter CV axle, so we have a more serious angle, of course. Tesla motor, although it is centered in here, the output shafts are not exactly in the center. You can see that right there. So um, I wanted to see this one at full drop where I'm going to be putting um, limiting straps and that's at 19 degrees. So 19 degrees will be the worst this ever sees if it's airborne. First ever drive in the Tesla swapped Doka. We're not going very far uh, because I do not have brakes. So probably just go a couple feet, but here we go. So cool. 
Um, I actually need my phone to control what gear this is in, so I can't really back up while this is filming, but oh well, there it is. Oh my gosh, I did it. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Okay, I need to bleed the brakes, but then I can take this uh, out driving, so <laughs> that was so cool. About to do the first test drive of the Doka. I'm using a GoPro to film this because I need my phone to actually control the Doka. Wish me luck. Here we go. Brakes leave a little to be desired, but uh, it's okay. Here we are inside the Doka. Pretty cool. Uh, been working on this for a couple months, so I thought it'd be cool to see the inside experience of me driving this thing around. 